Hello everyone, John Farrell's to a Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop hitting your forehands long. If you're struggling, the ball's sailing on you, it's like, okay, how do I keep this darn ball in play? This video is going to help. Enjoy the video. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Top Spin Pro. This product is absolutely amazing. Being Top Spin Tennis, the Top Spin Pro is a perfect fit for these videos. I'm an ambassador for the program. There's a link in the description below. If you're looking to improve your forehand, backhand, your Top Spin shots, this product is going to be perfect for you. So make sure you click on that link. It's a great deal, it's a great price and it helps out the channel as well, so thanks for your support. So let's discuss the intent on your forehand. The reason why the ball is probably sailing is because you're trying to impart some top spin on the ball. And there's only really two reasons why this ball will sail long. One is, the first one, it's probably the biggest one, is the racket angle. If we watch the pros in super slow motion, when they make contact and go to that ball, the racket angle is usually going to be slightly closed. What's, what's amazing is if this racket angle is just off by a millimeter, depending on your racket head speed, it can make three feet of distance on that side. So what the pros do is, because they have amazing racket head speed and acceleration, is a lot of times if they're going to impart topspin, they're going to slightly close that racket angle when they lift up and across. That face, it's rare where that face is square. It's rare when it's square. That's usually if that racket's square on contact, the intent is really to flatten out the shot and get it through the court. But the pros play with margin. Their goal is to hit that airspace above the net and bring that ball down back into the court. So, number one. Racket angle makes a huge difference. Be aware of that. I'm a fan of slightly closed, and then we're going to compress and lift up and across. The second reason why that ball can be long is that we're just, we're compressing too much. We're too flat, we're too linear with the swing path. If you watch the pros, what they do is, once they set this right side and load, that racket head will come just below the ball, just below, and then they lift up and across so that lifting motion is what imparts that top spin i almost feel like i'm taking off that back third of the ball i want to slice off that back third or i'm going to take this edge of the racket and try to hit that ball if you are too flat right you're from low you're below the ball but you just compress we compress and extend here that's not going to be a steep enough angle to impart that spin and bring it back into the court. So those are really the two main reasons why we're sailing shots. Racket angle is maybe too open or we're too linear and maybe with our open racket face and we don't impart enough spin to bring it back in. If you're going to be linear and compress, you can only clear that net by maybe a foot or less. So if you're really trying to hit it hard, from back here, you gotta pick a window about a foot above the net and it's gotta clear that window. That's hard to do. With Topspin and the Topspin Pro, if we lift up and across, now we can clear that net by three, four feet and still let that spin get to work and bring that ball back into the court. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell as well. Coaches, if you have players struggling with sailing shots, players struggling with uh, hitting shots long, share this video with them as well. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.